Stranger Things made its triumphant return to our screens earlier this summer, and there was plenty to unpack for its ardent fan base. The season was pretty memorable, but following the death of one of the show's more mysterious characters, the actor who plays him has recently been discussing what it potentially all means going forward. Today, we're discussing Dr. Brenner actor Matthew Modine's belief that his character isn't actually dead. Stay with us. Let's get straight into this then. What did Modine have to say? Another season of Stranger Things, another big character killed off. But that's just the way things go in the Stranger Things universe, right? In the recent season of the hit Netflix show, we saw Dr. Brenner join the likes of Barb, Bob Newby, Billy Hargrove, Eddie Munson, and many others on the list of big characters to be killed off. But Matthew Modine, who plays the evil Dr. Brenner, isn't entirely convinced that his character's fate has been sealed. Hoppe, as Modine's character is known by some of his subjects, has been an influential character in both seasons he has appeared in. Although he didn't appear in the middle installments, he was still a huge part of Eleven's being, and also the Upside Down. We saw him get shot by the army in Episode 8 as he is attempting to work on the Nina Project, in secret with Dr. Owens, with most fans presuming he was dead. However, Modine himself has been discussing the storyline, and he believes there's a chance we could get to see the Doc again once Season 5 rolls around. In a recent interview, he asks, How did he survive the Demogorgon? How did he survive 1? He clearly thinks thinks the character has the ability to withstand death, and we also know that he is able to thwart Elle pretty easily, as her powers don't seem to work on him, a point he raised before asking, is there something more to Brenner than meets the eye? What do you think? What else did he have to say then? During the interview, the question was raised as to whether Brenner could also have supernatural powers, much like his lab subjects. Modine stopped short of telling us what he actually knew, I mean the actors always know, right? And said, yeah, I don't want to believe it's over because I love the Duffers. The actor has also spoken before about this very topic and referenced the Duffers themselves when answering. He spoke about their answer to that question when they claimed Brenner is no longer with us. However, their wording could be construed as a little ambiguous. Why not just say, yeah, he's dead for sure? Modine went on to explain that his character seems to have more than one life, having survived multiple attacks. He also said that if he does appear in later seasons, he could be forced to face his past, saying, the horror of what Brenner did is accepting and understanding his culpability in the death of all those children because of what one did, whilst then suggesting if he was to be forgiven, he would still be forced to accept responsibility for his heinous acts. For now though, Brenner is dead, and we can look forward to season 5 with anticipation. I mean, he's dead until he's not again, right? Do you think Brenner will return from the dead when season 5 drops? We've got a little while to wait to find out anyway. Modine has also revealed what he and Millie Bobby Brown told each other before filming. Stay tuned. Of course, the on-screen relationship between Modine and lead actress Millie Bobby Brown is pretty intense, and he has recently been speaking about how the pair approach their more difficult scenes. He explained that they both meet up before their scene and simply tell each other, I love you. Modine went into the details of the process before those darker scenes, saying, There were times this season when we would check in with each other, especially during scenes where we're being harmful to one another, which is great to hear. I mean, you never really know how another actor is going to react to a difficult scene. Modine went on to reveal how the pair tell each other that they love each other, then give one another a wink of encouragement before the take begins, saying it was a way to connect with one another and lift each other's game. I mean, whatever works, right? The on-screen relationship between the pair is a little odd, as Brenner was something of a father figure to Elle in the first season, but after she escaped, that all changed. Brenner returned in the fourth installment to help Eleven regain the power she lost at the end of season 3. Having worked with Brown when she was a child, Modine also explained that the best way to work with child actors is to simply leave them alone. But he did concede that Millie has tremendous intelligence. What do you make of Modine's words? Next up, he has compared his character to a former president. Don't go anywhere. As we know, Brenner is portrayed as somewhat of an evil genius, and earlier this month, he even compared the character to former U.S. President Donald Trump. Of course, Trump is a seriously divisive character in the States, and Modine Modine has suggested that the former presidential incumbent is even worse than Dr. Brenner. Modine questioned whether or not Trump is able to sleep at night with a clear conscience, but having had to listen to the man for four years, we would suggest he is able to sleep perfectly fine. The Brenner actor then asked if Trump has to sedate himself and become a psychopathic liar in order to justify the behavior and the things that he's done. But again, we are almost certain he is perfectly fine with what he has done and how he is perceived. I mean, the man's a narcissist. 
right? Trump won't lose any sleep whatsoever in being compared to Brenner, even if Modine himself has claimed that his character is more moral than the former White House dweller. Comparing the two, Modine finished by saying, that's the real nightmare, not being able to escape your thoughts and the things you've seen or done. However, we're absolutely certain Donald Trump does not care one iota. What do you think? Modine has been discussing his most difficult scene now. Stay with us. Of course, when you're involved in an emotional roller coaster of a show such as Stranger Things, you're almost certainly going to be involved in your fair share of difficult scenes. And Modine is no different. Speaking earlier this month, the actor was responding to being asked what his most difficult scene to film across his two seasons on the show was, and he was categorical with his answer, explaining, the final scene with Millie and I, because of the great possibility that I wouldn't be participating in the show anymore. The pair have become close over the course of the show, as Modine has been working alongside Brown since she was just 11 years old. He went on to speak about the industry in general, saying that over his 40 years in the game, he's worked with plenty of people who he has never seen again. Of course, this is the nature of the entertainment business, but Modine went on to say, our professional lives take us to different parts of the world. There are only a handful of people I've worked with that I'm still in contact with. David Alan Greer, from the first movie I did, 1983 Streamers. He finished by saying it was so difficult because it might end up being the last time he ever sees Brown, saying, so there's the possibility that after Millie and I completed the final scene that our friendship grows apart, and that's really sad, but it's one of the realities of the job. Oh dear. And finally, Modine has been explaining what it was like to play Brenner. Well, it wasn't easy. Matthew revealed that after the show finished filming, he cut his hair off and spent a lot of time in the sauna to sweat this guy out. Of course, he was just joking, but he went on to reference his early career playing Joker in Full Metal Jacket and how he dealt with playing that character, saying, What I understood about Joker and how I decided to play him began with the now classic first line, Is that you, John Wayne? Is this me? The Joker understood the game he was in and the role of playing a soldier. He understood the pretense, the facade of war culture, but he lied about his acceptance of that game. He lied to the drill instructor, saying, You want me to be this guy? This is how I'm going to survive in this situation? I can lie. Modine went on to suggest that there was a pretty obvious parallel between Brenner and Joker regarding objectivity and participation, with Brenner being a good person, but ultimately crossing the line. What do you think of Modine's character in Stranger Things? Let us know below. As always, thanks for dropping in today, and remember to join us next time for more interesting bits and pieces. And why not do us a solid by liking today's video and sharing it with any strange things you might have lurking on those socials? Bye, guys.